This patient developed an embolic stroke from a cardiac tumor called a papillary fibroelastoma. This is the third most common cardiac tumor after a myxoma and lipoma. Papillary fibroelastomas are benign tumors that often appear round or oval in shape on echocardiogram and are often mobile. It is usually attached to one of the valves, most commonly the aortic valve. Most patients with papillary fibroelastoma are asymptomatic and the tumor is an incidental finding that can simply be observed and monitored. However, in patients who develop symptoms of embolization, the tumor must be excised. Embolic phenomena from this tumor cannot be treated with antiplatelet therapy or anticoagulation. Now let's go over the answer choices. Choice A, start aspirin daily. Choice B, start aspirin and dipyridamol two times a day. And choice C, start warfarin anticoagulation are incorrect. Starting antiplatelet or anticoagulant therapy for this patient's stroke is insufficient to reduce her risk for recurrent stroke or other embolic events. Choice D, obtain surgical consultation is the correct answer. Surgical excision is the recommended treatment for patients with papillary fibroelastoma and embolic events. Choice E, start intravenous antibiotics, is incorrect. While vegetations from infectious endocarditis can often appear very similar to papillary fibroelastoma on echocardiography, this patient does not have any other clinical findings that would correlate with endocarditis. She is afebrile, has negative blood cultures, and a normal white blood cell count. She also does not have any murmurs or significant valvular regurgitation and does not exhibit any peripheral stigmata of endocarditis. Thus, treatment with antibiotics is not warranted. Even if endocarditis was a consideration, a patient with a large enough tumor and embolic phenomena should also receive a surgical consultation.